Good afternoon. We support Ukraine and its people in their pursuit for a better life as a nation. Crimea's illegal annexation is a disgrace in the 21st century and we will not recognize it. The first priority is to de-escalate the situation. Russia's support for an OSCE mission in Ukraine is a positive step. The fact that Russia and Ukraine's foreign ministers finally met in The Hague is another sign of more openness. However, if there is further escalation, we Europeans and Americans are ready to intensify sanctions. The United States and Europe will continue their work to fight terrorism in the Sahel. And appalled by Egypt's mass death sentence of over 500 Muslim brothers, we urge Egyptian authorities to restore the rule of law. We are determined not only to safeguard and to support independence and prosperity of that country, but also showing that some kind of unacceptable behavior cannot continue. We also discuss, linked to this aspect, but not only linked to this issue, the importance of energy, energy security. At ministerial level, our teams are going to meet already next week to discuss some issues in terms of energy cooperation between uh, Europe and the United States. Not only our economies are equal in size, but our societies are equal in values. And I believe that to both our economies, um, a new impulse of this uh, TTIP, Transatlantic Trade Investment Partnership, will be very important to give a decisive <coughs> injection uh, of dynamism and indeed even increase the potential for growth, not only for the big business, but also for small, medium-sized businesses from every household. There are great potentials in terms of job creation, both sides of the Atlantic, if we do it right. And today we have confirmed that we are um, determined at, at the highest level to make it happen and to be a success, not only for us, but also for the global economy. We reviewed our negotiations with Iran, which I believe give us the opportunity to peacefully resolve the world's concerns with the Iranian nuclear program. We pledged to sustain our support for the effort to eliminate Syria's chemical weapons, even as we work to deliver humanitarian relief to the Syrian people. And we discussed a number of global challenges, including the desire to step up our cooperation with the Asia-Pacific region and our commitment to a new global agreement to combat climate change. The United States and Europe stand united on this issue. Uh, we're united in our support for Ukraine and for the need to provide economic assistance to help stabilize its economy. We're united in our commitment to Europe's security. We're united in our determination to isolate Russia and impose costs for Russia's actions. Every step of the way, I've coordinated closely with our allies and partners in Europe. President Obama, we reconfirmed our shared commitment to an ambitious... Every member of the G7 has imposed sanctions on Russia, as we announced on Monday, uh, and the G7 will meet here in Brussels in June without Russia. So if anyone in the Russian leadership thought the world wouldn't care about their actions in Ukraine or that they could drive a wedge between the European Union and the United States, they clearly miscalculated. As I've said repeatedly and was mentioned by both uh, Presidents Van Rompuy and Barroso, there is still a way for Russia to work with Ukraine and the international community 
to de-escalate the situation through diplomacy. That's the only way that the issue will be resolved. If Russia continues on its current course, however, the isolation will deepen. Sanctions will increase, and there will be growing consequences for the Russian economy. And this reflects the enduring commitment to the goal that has brought Europe and the United States together for decades, a Europe that is whole and free and at peace. Our work today touched on a full range of issues where we work together. Uh, we agreed to step up our efforts to boost growth and job creation on both sides of the Atlantic, and that includes working to conclude a transatlantic trade and investment partnership. Okay, thank you for your attention. Thank you.